Alright, what is up YouTube? We're back at it with another YouTube video today, and in this video I will be going over the best attachments to use for the attackers. And yes, I have been champion before, I do know what I'm talking about, and attachments do play a big role in recoil control, and I will be explaining all the attachments I use and why I use them. So to stay tuned to the video, and do not forget to drop a like button down below and leave a comment if you enjoyed. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Alright, so for the first operator we got here, we got Sledge. On the L85A2, I like to use a flash hider, just because this gun does do a little bit of kicks every now and then, and the flash hider is the best for that. Compensator is more of a consistent kind of spread, but the uh, flash hider allows it, so whenever there's a small little burst, the flash hider will help control that. And on the SMG11, I, I like to use compensator. A lot of people would say flash hider, but compensator allows it where you can hold down on the SMG11, and more as the flash hider is more of a kind of burst kind of fire with the SMG11. But uh, just remember that attachments do change for every single gun. So the flash hider may work differently on another gun than it would on sledge. So here's a flash hider on the LA. So I can control that pretty good. And then for the SMG11, I do have a commentator on it. So basically all the commentator does, it limits the horizontal spread like this. It, which is side to side so my aim will be like head level but it might go side to side that's basically what it does so that's basically the best i can do with the smg 11 and i would say that looks pretty good because there's no way you can really match this perfectly without a lot of practice all right and the next operator today is going to be thatcher there are multiple guns for her, uh, for her for thatcher but i already went over the l8 and again it's the same thing i just use a holographic but on the other one, I use a compensator for the AR-33. I have a compensator 1.5 and an angle grip. Angle grip is just like an aim in faster. If you guys did not know that, a vertical grip helps control with more recoil. So I suggest using that gun on, if you cannot control a uh, recoil on a gun, um, and you like keep trying it, keep trying, try putting a vertical grip on it. If it doesn't have a vertical grip, then I'm really, there's really nothing you can do to it. But uh, angle grip just allows it where you can aim in faster, and a vertical grip allows it where you can control the vertical recoil a lot more. Alright, so with the AR-33, I do have the commentator, the 1.5, and the angled grip on it. As you can see, it's pretty easy to control, so I suggest using this kind of layout. Honestly, I suggest using commentator on any type of gun in general, just because the commentator helps with the overall spread of the gun, since commentator helps with rapid fire. Uh, flash hider is more of a burst. Muzzle brake is meant for DMRs, that's a tap fire. And the suppressor is just absolutely nothing it's, i just i use suppressor on some guns just to brag how cool it sounds you know like you know whenever you have a suppressor on your gun and it just it just sounds satisfying when you shoot yeah that's the only reason i think anyone uses it in this game but yeah that's my ar-33 loadout right there and now on to the next operator all right and for the next operator we got ash ash has a g36c and the uh, r4c i will be going over the r4c first i'd like to run a flash header on this because this uh Gun did get nerfed a lot, so the recoil is kind of crazy, and commentator does not work very well in this gun anymore, so I use a flash hider now, and let's hop right into this and check it out. Alright, so Ash's gun does not have an option for the angled grip, so of course I am using a vertical grip, and I do run a reflex on it. Reflex is just a preference sight, but I do run a flash hider now, so the basic recoil, it looks like it's up to the right, so basically all you have to do is go down to the left. That was not that good. I'm going to give it one more try. Alright, well, as you can see, I can use some work on this gun because it has been nerfed before. But I suggest using a flash hider just because it helps a lot more than you uh, think. And compensator helps with the horizontal kind of spread of it. And as Ash, it doesn't have that much of the horizontal kind of spread. It's just more of a vertical one. So that's why I suggest using the flash hider. Alrighty, so now we're going to go with the G36C. I do run a compensator on this because it does not have that much recoil and compensator helps a lot with that. I run an angled grip because the recoil is not that much. And I run a 1.5 because I low-key love the sight on it. It's just really satisfying. Alrighty, so let's go check this out. I run an angled compensator and a 1.5. The recoil should not be that bad. Alright, so as you can see, it's just up to the right. Maybe a little bit to the left at the end. So, I shouldn't even have to pull down that much down to the left, since it doesn't even go up that high to the right. So basically, I just made a giant little circle right there. Just like that. 
All right, so that is Ash, and let's go on to the next operator. All right, so the next operator we have here is going to be Thermite. Thermite has a shotgun and also the main 556XI, and I'll be running a flash hider on this just because the uh, horizontal spread is not that much, so I like to run a flash hider. kind of has a burst every now and then. I run angled grip on it because the recoil is not that bad, and then the pistol and the sun grenade. Alright, so for Thermite, the recoil should be... Okay, it looks like it's just straight up to the left. That should not be that bad. Alright, so as you can see, I kind of can control it in a small little circle. So if you want to use Thermite, you could use a Commissator if you want to, but the recoil, like the horizontal spread is not that much. As you can see, it is basically just straight up with a flash hider, and that is pretty easy to control. All right, now on to the next offer, we have Twitch. Twitch has a DMR. I will not be going over that just because the DMR is tap fire and they do not have that much recoil half of the time. So I will be going over the F2. The F2 and a compensator 1.5 and a vertical grip. The compensator on this, it does have horizontal recoil every now and then. So the compensator is the best to control that. And I personally just like the compensator on a lot of things. And I've been using Twitch for a very long time. So her recoil is not that much to me. And would you look at that? It is just straight vertical when you put a compensator on this. Alright, I'll give it one more try. And there we go. That is basically the recoil with a compensator 1.5 and a vertical grip. Alright, the next hour we got is going to be a mod thing, but I'm not going to be doing mod thing, nor am I going to be doing glass. I'm going to straight jump straight over to fuse with the AK-12. Because he has a commentator, ankle grip, and I use a 2.0. And I won't be using uh, Glass or Montaigne because they have a DMR and pistols, and those do not really have recoil. So I'm just trying to get all the main operators with the attachments you should use for them. Alright, so for Fuse, I have the commentator, ankle grip, and the 2.0. I like to run commentator on all the guns, basically. If you guys, I've said that many, 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 many times. Just because that commentator is the best for rapid recoil control all right so that is basically the recoil control for fuse the compensator makes it just go up to the right so all you have to do is just pull down to the left every gun has a pattern like this similar to this so if you just hop into a tn every now and then put on an attachment look at what it does then you can basically use any attachment in this game it's just some are going to be harder than the others so i suggest using compensator for this gun Alright, and the next operator we have, oh, I'm going to go back over to Fuse. I guess he does have an LMG. I will go over that for you guys. All right. he, the only two options he has is a suppressor and a flash hider, so I suggest using a flash hider, just because the suppressor helps in no particular way, and a flash hider would help with the recoil. You can use the suppressor if you really go to the recoil control, but if you want to help with the recoil, I suggest using the flash hider, since that's the only possible option. Alright, and for the fuse LMG, it should not be that bad. I'm pretty sure it's just straight up. It's slowly up to the right with the flash hider on, so it just goes slowly down to the left. Alright, so I basically control this in a big kind of blob, which is pretty good because you can easily lean to the left or right to try to land a headshot. So those are the attachments for the fuse LMG. Alrighty, next offer we got is going to be Blitz, uh, not Blitz, IQ. We're not going to be going over Blitz because, again, he has a shield and a pistol. Now we're not going to be going over that. Alright, so it looks like we have three guns over here. I'm going to start off with the LMG. I do want a holographic and compensator on it. She does have a vertical grip, but the LMG does not have that much recoil, so I like to run an angle grip on it. And the possible sights are compensator, flash iron, suppressor, so it's, the she does not have the muzzle break option. Uh, many people like using a flash hider, but personally, the LMG, any kind of LMG, I prefer using compensator. But the fuse LMG did not have a compensator, so you had to use flash hider. Alright, for the LMG we got here. It's basically just straight up to the right, slowly. And I can basically just make a straight up line with it. And anything, anytime that happens, this basically means that you're not pulling down hard enough. That's basically what the line means. I accidentally made another line. Alright, so that's basically the attachment for the IQ LMG. Let's hop over to our other guns. Alright, so now IQ's Commando. I do run a holographic on it, but I'm going to put on the 1.5 just for this. And I do not know why I have a flash hider on. I'll be running a compensator for this. 
because it is a assault rifle, not an LMG. So a commentator should be easier to use for this. All right. I have not used a command in a while, so I don't know what the pattern will be. All right, it looks like it's just the majority up to the right. And there we go. So yeah, the commando with the commentator and the uh, angle grip, it's just gonna be slowly up to the right. And again, whenever it's slow up to the right and not like that, that means you pull down and then slowly pull down to the left whenever you're shooting. That way you don't counteract it and just like completely shank your recoil control. All right, now we're gonna switch over to the AUG. All right, so now for the AUG, I do run the holographic just because she doesn't have an option for a 1.5 in the 2.5 scope, which is basically the old ACOG. Basically is zoomed in too much and a lot of people hate on the holographic, but I honestly kind of love it just because it helps me line up my shots. I guess I will just use the flash shatter for this. They're basically the same thing, it's just on some guns, the flash shatter and commentator do not have that big of a difference, so it doesn't really matter which ones you use. The main guns that only, like, only matters on is probably guns like Ash, Jaeger, or like the main recoil kind of guns. Or probably as a Fiat, now that she got a massive nerf. Alright, so this one is pretty much basically vertical, and I still have that flash shatter on it. So I can control that pretty well. You don't you don't need like you don't need to have recoil control like that to be good at the game. I, I hope you guys all know that. So if you guys are watching this video and you think you need to have recoil control where it's straight up a dot, that's not physically possible unless you're using a macro or you're hacking. So don't stress about it if your recoil looks like this because this is good. This is good recoil control. Many people do not understand that, but that is good recoil control. Do not let anyone say otherwise. That is good recoil control. All right, let's hop on to the next operator. All right, the next operator we got is going to be Buck. Buck has a DMR and also the C8. I will not be going with the DMR because again, that is just a tap fire. All right, so he does have many, many, many options. If you can master uh, all of these other muzzles, I should just use an extended bail because the extended bail, whenever that is an option, that is a must because you can get way more kills if it does consistent damage across the entire map. So if you can control that recoil on the extended barrel, then I say just using that. But I have not used Buck in a while, so I'm just going to show you for the muscle breakers. <laughs> muscle break sentence. Alright, so. With the compensator, it just goes straight up to the right. Maybe a little bit. Alright, so there's Buck's recoil for you. I do have the compensator and the 1.5. I don't think it has a vertical angle grip on it. Just because the Buck has a secondary shotgun on it. So it does not come with that option. But that is the attachments I use for Buck. Alright, the next operator we got is Blackbeard. Blackbeard only has like 20 bullets in his gun, so I suggest using a flash shatter because you don't really hold down that much whenever there's only 20 bullets. Alrighty, whenever you put on the shield, it does not really affect his recoil, so I'm not going to put on the shield for now. Alright, so his gun goes up to the left with the flash shatter, and then it looks like it was pretty far to the left after... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, after around bullet 12, you, you don't really count whenever you shoot. I'm just saying this as an example. So pretty much halfway through your mag, just expect a massive pull to the left. Alright, and that is basically a black gear for you. You can also use a vertical grip on them. I just like running angled because sometimes you can aim in faster and it can help you get an easy kill. Alrighty, the next operator we got over here is Capitao. Capitao has an LMG and the Para 308. I usually use the Para just because it is easier to control and I don't really like to re take an hour to reload my gun. But I use a compensator angle grip at a 1.5 on the Kara, so... Or Para, my bad. Alright, so we're going to the Para. With the compensator on it, it just goes slowly up to the right and basically Basically just straight up and then after a while slowly go to the right. So you should have to pull straight down. That was probably my best one yet besides Twitch. So this is why I like to use the commentator on most of the guns just because it's... Whenever you have the commentator on, this is what the recoil spread will look like over time. On like the majority of guns. Unless the operator has been nerfed before, this is what the gun will look like. I don't think Capital's recoil has been nerfed in the past. So that's why his recoil is directly it's just straight up vertical. Alright, so I will be going over to Capitalis LMG. I do run a flash shutter just because it is a one of Oh, it does have a commentator. 
Let's put on the compensator thing. Uh, it only has an option for the vertical grip, so I will be using that. And it looks like I can run a compensator in LMG, so I will be using that instead. Alright, so with the compensator, the vertical grip, and the 1.5. Basically, it looks like it goes up, left, up. Alright, so that's the LMG recoil for you. Just with the compensator, it will go up, left, right, and that should be pretty easy to control. As you can see, it's just a big blob right there. So all you have to do is just pull down. You don't really have to focus on dragging down to the right since it's not that big of a difference, but you can probably pull down directly on, and like still kind of control it. So if you just pull it straight down with this gun, you should be fine. Alrighty, so at the capital, we got Hibana. It looks like we are, are basically almost halfway. I will not be going over Cali. I might do the secondaries. All right, so yeah, I will be doing the bearing nine. I do want a flash hider. There is a commentator option, but the flash hider does look better. I like to burst fire on the bearing nine. That's why I use the flash hider. So every now and then with the bearing nine, I won't directly hold down or it will get to the point where you can't control the recoil because holding down with the bearing nine or like the LS Scorpion and stuff like that, it will get too crazy for you to control. So for Havana, it just goes up to the right, just go down to the left. That's the 1.5 commissary in the angle grip. And for the bearing 9, this one's going to go all over the place. Alright, so it looks like, look at the look at the gap difference between the recoil. Like just every bullet, it just shoots high up like that. So you might have to pull down a ton. Yeah, that's probably the best I can do. I'm not going to stress over it, but that's why I like to tap fire with it. Like when you tap fire, it's easier to control. It's just tap, tap, tap kind of gun. So I suggest using that if you use the bearing nine. You can use a flash hider and add a red dot on it. So it's just a preference. Alrighty, so after Hibana, we got Jackal. Jackal does have two guns. It has the PDW and the C7E. Then he has a secondary shotgun. So for the C7E, I use the 2.0 commentary and angle grip. Alright, Jackal recoil. Uh, he only has 26 bullets now, so. It looks like it's just a straight up to the right, right up to the full bullets. Four bullets, my bad, and then it's just straight up vertical right after that. Alright, so that's the C70, and let's hop right over to the PW9. So, the Jackal PW9, uh, you can basically use any sight because this gun is a solid gun. Uh, I will be using Commentator. I think I just I got auto selected for the Flash Hider. You can use the grip on it. Just whatever grip you want. I don't even think it really matters what grip you use for this one because I feel like with the vertical grip on this gun, you can still aim in pretty fast. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but it just feels like you can aim in pretty fast with the vertical grip on this gun. I just, I just use angle grip. Maybe not. Yeah, I, I'm just really stupid. My brain is not working. Alright, so it basically looks like you can probably get away with pulling straight down. You just might have to pull down to the left a little bit and you might be able to get away with it. Alright, that's the PW9. Solid gun, solid attachment, compensated and grip in a 1.5. I, su I suggest using this one. Alright, now I'm going to go over to Ying. Ying has a shotgun and the LMG at the T9. F T95 LSW. So I will be using the commentator on it because it is an LMG and it does rapid fire. I will use the angle grip because it does not have that much recoil, in my opinion. But again, if you have trouble controlling any recoil with any of these operators, put on a vertical grip. It will help you a lot more. So, yeah, if you can't control the recoil with an angled grip, then there's no need why you should be using it. So if you can't control it, Put on a vertical grip. No, no one will question you unless you're just playing with a bunch of weirdos. Alright, so it just goes up, left, up. That's, that's all it is. Alright, and that's the recoil for you with Ying, Commentator, Angle Grip 1.5. Alright, the next opera we got is the nerfed Zofia. <laughs> I'm running so fast shots. Alright, this gun is going to be a struggle. So, I might just have to run the commentator on it. Alright, this gun is going to be all over the place. It's going to have a massive kick and everything. So, if I cannot control this gun, I apologize in advance just because 
they, they nerf this operator. Like, it, she is destroyed now. I said she's an LMG over here right now. Yeah. This is, this is worse than the Bearing 9. Or it's probably the same. They probably made this the Bearing 9. I'm not kidding. Alright, so for this one, you can use a Gunman Sitter Flash Hatter. Just realize it's, it's literally like the same recoil kick as the Bearing 9. So that basically means you have to pull down a ton right off the start. But she does it a 2.0, so you can control this. Just realize every time you shoot through your gun, you're gonna have to pull down fast and hard. I should just just stay away from this gun for now, unless you have like a macro or something, because you might not. You're, you're probably gonna lose your gun fights with this gun, because they basically just made her unplayable for now. All right, so now I'm gonna be going over the this via LMG, which is basically what everyone's gonna be using now since the other gun got freaking nerfed out of the game. I don't know why they do it to operators, but Sophia LMG. It does have a 150 round mag, so the recoil should be pretty crazy. I don't know. It might have a lot of kick. I haven't used this gun in a while. Alright, that's pretty weird. So it goes like up to the left and then back to the right. So you might just have to go down, right, left, and then down again. So that's Sophia for you. I've run a compensator, vertical grip, and the 1.5. Alright, so I'm going on duck beat. I will not be using her primaries. I will be using. Oh, she no longer has the C75 auto. I'll be using the SMG12. I will put on a sight just for this. I there is no other muzzle brake option, so I just use a vertical grip because I will need help with the recoil control. But Dokubi's uh, SMG-12 is going to be very similar to the Bearing 9. It's going to have a lot of kick right off the start. So it is a gun where you have to pull down a ton or you're going to have to burst fire. Yeah, it just has a lot of kick straight up to the left. Yeah, the best I can do is just creating a massive horizontal line. That's the best I can really do. And that's probably the best I will get to. Or you can try to burst fire, but... This gun is probably the best in close range gunfights. If you're shooting at someone across the map, I suggest don't using this gun unless you're better than me, which is quite true who controlling this gun. Yeah, but those are the attachments I use. It doesn't really have many attachments, it's just a vertical grip and a reflex. Alrighty, and the next operator we got is Lion. DMR shotgun. I will be going over the V308 since this is the really only assault rifle where he has. Compensator 2.0 angled grip. Uh, he has a gun 6, no SMG, so that's just his main primary gun, angled compensator 2.0. As you can see from basically all the guns I've been using, those are just the basic attachments I use for almost every gun, unless I can't use it in the uh, recoil pattern changes. Alright, so just goes up. Pretty simple. And again, the attachments are angled compensator and a 2.0. The next top we got is Finca. She has the sausage and the LMG and the spear. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on the spear just because it's on defense. And if this video gets 100 likes, I will be going over the defensive side. So I will be going over the only the LMG this time. It's just a flash hider, the reflex, and the vertical grip. And it's just an LMG, so she does not have an op an option for the compensator. Only certain LMGs have that option. But yes, again, I will be going over all of the defender's attachments if this video gets to 100 likes. So if you guys haven't already, please click that like button down below. I have been spending the last three hours going over all these operators, as it does take a while to constantly keep believing on a custom game and coming back into it. Alright, so for this LMG, very, very, very slow recoil. So you barely need to pull down, but just watch the horizontal spread. Alright, so the first few bullets, it did, it did take me to get used to, and then I finally got used to it right over here. So again, I run a flash hider. I don't know if it, if it does have an angle, then I run an angle, and then the reflex. Alright, and the next operator looks like we got Maverick. Maverick does have an AR and an M4, so I'm only going over the M4 since the other one is a DMR. 
I am the CEO of Iron Sights for this gun, so just for that, I will be running Iron Sights just to show you guys how whack they are and why I'm the CEO of them. I'm just joking. Alright, so I got the Colonsator and the 1.5, another 1.5, the angle grip, and look at those sexy Iron Sights. Alright, so the recoil is just up to the right, and the control is self explanatory. That's the Mavic recoil for you. And those are the attachments. You can use a sight for it. I was just chilling around. I am the CEO of running iron sights. I am known for running iron sights on Maverick, which is kind of funny, but I do run the compensator and the angle grip on it. So those are the attachments for Maverick. All right, so the next opera we got Nomad. She does have two different guns. I personally like the ARX better, and she, she does not have a vertical or angle grip option. So I like to run the compensator and the 2.0. Alright, so her gun goes up to the right. Pretty self explanatory. I just made a massive line on accident. But as a commentator in the 2.0, and those are the attachments for the ARX on Nomad. So I'm going to do the AK7 now. And this one is more of a flashy kind of burst gun. So I do run the flash hide around that. And yeah, the other ones are just pistols. So I do run the flash hider, and again, she doesn't have a grip, so I just use a 1.5 scope. Looks like this one goes farther to the right, so this one's going to be pretty hard to control for me. Alright, so that's that for that. And also, what I mean by flashy and bursty is whenever these gaps are pretty big. So whenever, her, whenever her, you shoot her gun, it's the bullet gap between every single bullet. So that gap right there, and that gap right there. That's what I mean by burst. She has gaps like this, which are like massive for no reason. That's why I like to use a flash rider because typically guns do not have this kind of burst. And with a flash rider, it helps control those bursts a lot more. It says if I had a compensator, there would be a lot more bullet gaps looking a lot like this. If you guys did not know that, I was just explaining that just in case you don't understand what I meant by that. So I run the flash rider and the 1.5 on that. Alrighty, so we got Gridlock now. She does have the F90 and also the saw, which is an LMG basically. Alright, I am going to put on the 2.0 just because I don't know why the other one on. And I will be running compensated for this one. I guess I didn't have this gun set up. Uh, she doesn't have the C75 anymore either. I guess I've gone 6. It's more important than getting kills. In my opinion, the gone 6 is kind of useless. It's just a useless ass charge. Because it just has one use and it goes away. Uh, but besides that, for the F90, I do with a commentator vertical grip and the 2.0. Just goes up to the right, so get used to control. And that is F90 for you. Vertical grip, commentator, 2.0. Alrighty, so for the saw now, I will be using a vertical grip since it is one of the only options. It does have a commentator, so I will be using that one instead of the flash hider. And I will be putting a 1.5 on it, just because the 1.5 is by far my most favorite sight. It's like an in-between between the 2.0 and the like a, any kind of reflex, holographic, or stuff like that. And that's why I love it so much. Alright, so this gun is probably going to be like basically any other LMG in this game. Just slow bullet spread and up straight, which is going to go to the left a little bit. Alright, that's the saw for you. Vertical grip, compensator, and a 1.5. So now we got knock. She does have a shotgun. I don't even know if she had that, but I, she has an LMG9. And I think she just has a deagle. And yeah, all right. Let's go over that with her. All right, so I do run suppressor just because she is more of a silent, methodical, metho <laughs> methodical, methodical operator who likes to creep around corners. And I just like the suppressor because the suppressor does not give those white lines whenever you shoot by someone. The suppressor makes it where it doesn't show those white lines to what direction the bullets are coming from. Obviously you can hear where a suppressor is coming from, but if you're getting shot at, the white lines will not show like on their screen where you are at. So that's why you use your suppressor. You use suppressor in 1.5, she does not have a grip option. Yeah, she doesn't have a grip option. And it is just up to the left, it looks like. It basically goes to the right, and then it says, never mind, up to the left. That is the SMG9, and let's move over to Amaru. Alrighty, Amaru does have a shotgun and that uh, G8 A41, which I already gone over this, so I'm probably going to skip her, and I will be going over 
the C75 Auto Clash has the SPS MG9. So if I this video does hit 200, uh, not 200, 100 likes, I will be going over all the defensive operators, and that is when I'll be going over the attachments for that gun. So for the C75 Auto, you don't really need attachments for it. I probably should not have done this because the C75 Auto does not use attachments. So I'll just be going over the recoil anyways. And it's just up to the left and it does have giant gaps of bullet spread. So that's the C75 Auto for you. Alright, so now we have Yana, Ace, Zero, and Flores. Right, I've already gone over the G36C, I've already gone over the ARX, I have already gone over the AK-12 too. Um, I will be going over this one, the MP7 is Bandit's gun, so I will be saving that one for defense. And then after this one, we got one more operator, which is Flores, and it looks like I would not be doing Flores either, so this is going to be the last operator, because I have gone over all of the other guns on attack, since all the guns on attack are being cycled through operators, because Ubisoft doesn't want to come out with more guns. Except for this one. This gun that they did come out with up for zero, solid. 10 out of 10. So I use a compensator, angled grip, and wait, this looks like, a, yeah, I think this is a compensator. And a 2.0 on this gun. Pretty easy to control. I'll show you the recoil pattern real quick. So it just goes up to the right, pretty easy. And there's that for your 2.0 compensator and the angled grip. All right, and this will be the last attacking operator I do for the attachments. I will be doing defense. I will be doing every single operator on defense if this video gets 100 likes. So if you made it this far in the video, please don't forget to comment spaghetti down in the comments if you made it this far, just so I can know who the elite of the elite are. I really appreciate every single one of you guys who have made it this far in the video. I really do. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. But again, if this video does get 100 likes, I will go back and make an entire attachment video on the defender side. So that means Jaeger, Bandit, all of those fun little operators. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope I, I really hope this helps some of you guys, or at least one of you. I really hope this helps someone, just any of you guys in there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. And I like